Hello everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate gluteal region with the help of cadaveric images. The bulkiest muscle which is shown in this image is gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus is the superficial muscle in the gluteal region. So after removing the skin, superficial fascia and deep fascia, we are going to appreciate this gluteus maximus. The orientation of this specimen is superior towards the trunk, inferior towards the thigh, medial where the gluteus maximus gets origin and lateral aspects where the muscle is seen obliquely downwards towards the lateral side inserting into iliotibial tract and gluteal tuberosity. So that was about the gluteus maximus muscle. So gluteus maximus muscle it is quite bulkier and we can see it is inserting into the iliotubial tract and gluteal tuberosity as well. This is the lateral view of the thigh showing the thick fibrous band present vertically which is called as iliotibial tract. Iliotibial tract is the modification of deep fascia. Deep fascia is otherwise called as fascia lata in the thigh. So it is the modification of fascia lata of the thigh. On the posterior aspect, we can appreciate the insertion of gluteus maximus muscle into iliotubial tract. So superior, inferior, posterior, anterior. This is how the orientation of the specimen is. So we can see the gluteus maximus inserting into the iliotubial tract which is well demonstrated in this image. Iliotubial tract also receives attachment of tensor fascia lata from above. We can also appreciate the tubercle of iliac crust which is giving attachment to fascia lata continues as iliotibial tract. So this image of the specimen demonstrates the structures deep to gluteus maximus muscle. The gluteus maximus is cut and reflected to reveal the structures deep to it. So this is the reflected part of gluteus maximus muscle. So the muscle is dissected at its insertion. So we can appreciate the cut end of gluteus maximus at its insertion. So the attachment is towards the gluteal tuberosity. So attachment of gluteus maximus to the gluteal tuberosity is appreciated in this image. The large fan shaped muscle converging towards the greater trochanter inserting into the greater trochanter is gluteus medius muscle. A small pyriform shaped that is pyramidal or triangular like muscle is pyriformis. Pyriformis is the key muscle of gluteal region as it divides the structures above and below it. The artery peeping out along the upper border of the pyriformis is superior gluteal artery. The artery which is present below the pyriformis that is the artery below to the pyriformis is inferior gluteal artery and the nerve seen associated with it is inferior gluteal nerve. We can see the inferior gluteal nerve innervating the gluteus maximus muscle. The thick nerve observed below the piriformis is the sciatic nerve. The nerve present medial to the sciatic nerve is posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh. So the lateral one, the thickest one nerve is the sciatic nerve and medial to the sciatic nerve is the posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh. Let's do further dissection by reflecting the gluteus medius muscle. Look at this image, we can appreciate the reflected gluteus medius. We can also see the reflected part of gluteus maximus as well. The fan shaped muscle seen deep to gluteus medius is gluteus minimus. Gluteus minimus is converging towards the greater trochanter. The gluteus minimus is attached to the greater trochanter so it is converging towards the greater trochanter. Pyriformis is also attached to the greater trochanter so we can see the pyriformis muscle coursing towards the greater trochanter. Between gluteus minimus and pyriformis there are neurovascular structures. The blood vessel is the superior gluteal artery 
Superior gluteal artery is further ramifying as superficial and deep branches. Superficial branches are piercing gluteus maximus muscle and deep branches supply gluteus medius and minimus muscle. So these are the deep branches. The nerve associated with the artery is superior gluteal nerve. Superior gluteal nerve innervates gluteus medius and minimus muscles. The structures which are appreciated below the lower border of the piriformis are sciatic nerve, posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh which is along with the sciatic nerve. This image demonstrates the structures below the lower border of piriformis. Before identifying the neurovascular structures, we would begin with the identification of muscles forming the lower part of gluteal region deep to gluteus maximus muscle. Below the lower border of the piriformis, there are three muscles together. So this one is the piriformis and the three muscles are obturator internus which is along with gemelli muscles. Gemelli muscles are superior gemellus and inferior gemellus. All these three muscles mean obturator internus, superior gemellus and inferior gemellus are together form tricipital tendon before its attachment. The muscle seen below the tricipital tendon is quadratus femoris. Medially we can observe the muscles gaining the origin from ischial tuberosity. So the muscle seen below the tricipital tendon is quadratus femoris. Little part of adductor magnus is shown below the quadratus femoris. Medially we can also observe the muscles gaining origin from the ischial tuberosity. These muscles are hamstring muscles. The thick nerve emerging below the piriformis is sciatic nerve. The nerves which are associated with the sciatic nerve are posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh and inferior gluteal nerve along with its vessel that is the inferior gluteal artery. The nerve medial to this inferior gluteal nerve is nerve to obturator internus. The fibrous structure seen medial to the sciatic nerve is sacrotuberous ligament. This thick band white colored structure is sacrotuberous ligament. The nerve in relation to sacrotuberous ligament is pudendal nerve. Medial to sacrotuberous ligament, the pudendal nerve, nerve to obturator internus along with the internal pudendal artery are seen. So if we trace the pudendal nerve, nerve to obturator internus, they go deep to the sacrotuberous ligament and they are shown medial to the sacrotuberous ligaments along with the internal pudendal artery. This completes the demonstration of gluteal region. Thank you.